Americans die from malaria every year. Despite the government spending $3 billion annually on malaria control efforts, which has not significantly reduced the death toll. To combat this, the ministry prepares a nationwide administration of the malaria vaccine to infants starting October this year. We are concerned about low coverage of immunization in our country, especially in urban areas like Kampala Metropolitan. We are concerned about hygiene and sanitation. Uh, we need people to embrace um, the lifestyle of cleanliness. Malaria is not the only threat to Ugandans. There are also other diseases that require vaccination. We are seeing more deaths in stroke, dying of stroke. We are, we are seeing more people, obesity, diabetes, hypertension. In what they saw, in the case of the urinary tract, the urinary tract is a very good thing. The urinary tract is a very good thing. The urinary tract is the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Health, Dr. Diana Trine, emphasized the need for public education on various diseases and preventive measures. We believe in the power of, of influence. We know the religious leaders have a lot of influence on the common people that they need. They interface with people every day. And we know that right now the monster that we have in the house is the behavior change. Behavior change to embrace health, good health seeking behavior. We have come with a head of malaria. We have come with a head of mental health services in the country. All those are issues that are so pertinent to us. And we do believe that we can only change the burden by educating the masses and also making sure that we, we intervene. According to Dr. Atrine, HIV AIDS remains a significant threat among school-going children, many of whom are reluctant to get tested. Dr. Atrine also linked the school dropout rates among the youth to drug abuse. We have a burden and an epidemic of drugs. The drugs and mental health issues and that can only be dealt with if we have behavior change. In response to the increasing number of drugs at the market, Supreme Mufti Sheikh Muhammad Garabuzi urged the Minister of Health to conduct an investigation. investors <laughs> I'm Ivan Joko, reporting for UBC.